Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. Want to do a quick video just to go over the function curves menu in the radio. Uh, in this case, we're using a pre-production DS24. Don't get too excited. You can't get one of these yet, but it will be out soon. If you're looking for the DS24, make sure you get your pre-order in. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is jump into the main menu. So we're going to click the menu button and we're going to scroll down to fine tuning. Uh, once you're in fine tuning, you're going to scroll down to function curves and select the button. In function curves, anything that you've assigned a function to, a curve will show up to allow you to adjust that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pick one to work with. Uh, we'll use the ailerons for now just because it's the top one. At the end of each line, you'll notice that you have the ability to adjust whether it's set globally or separate. Again, this is to allow you to have individual throttle curves or individual curves based on the flight mode that you're in. This really comes in handy with things like uh, helicopters where you'll have individual settings based on the head speed of the, of the machine uh, or jets where you have individual settings based on the airspeed of the vehicle. So we'll give you an idea how that works. You can also set the delay plus and minus in this screen uh, or how quickly changes take place. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and select the function you're going to use. Uh, you do that with the 3D wheel. We're going to select ailerons. We're going to click the 3D button. Uh, once you've selected the button, you want to highlight curves and select the button again. That will take you into the function curve screen. First at the top of the screen, it lists what function you're adjusting, in our case ailerons. Uh, the next thing coming down on the left side of the screen, it lists the curve type. All of the curves default to a standard curve. Uh, you adjust it from that point. Uh, you'll notice there's two boxes, one on the left, which is your curve type, and one on the right, which is your actual curve. So as you move the scroll wheel between the two, uh, it'll highlight one or the other. Once it's highlighted, you can click the 3D button, and it will actually select what you've chosen and allow you to make adjustments to it. We're going to go ahead and scroll over to standard and change that to a seven point curve to give you an idea how that functions. Once you've made that selection, you click on the button again, turn the scroll wheel over to it highlights the curve. Once you click the button, it allows you to make adjustments to the curve. Now what it does is it changes the highlight color of the particular point on the curve that you're working. Uh, in our color scheme, it's changed that first point to blue. To move the point, uh, either higher or lower, you simply move right or left on the scroll wheel. Once you get it to the point you'd like it to be at, pressing the center of the 3D button will move it on to the next curve. If you accidentally press it twice or realize that you need to go back a point in the curve, you simply hit the escape button one time and it moves it back one point. This is really nice for when you're really trying to, to tie up a really nice curve and you're running the nine points. Uh, allow you to go forward and backwards making small incremental adjustments and getting specifically to certain points that you want to make adjustments to. Uh, you can actually hit the 3D button, pass by all of the points, get right up to that last point, make a small adjustment, realize you've missed something and back up again. I'm going to go ahead and click out of that curve. So we're going to hit the 3D button until we get to the end. That'll re-highlight the box. We'll go ahead and turn back over to our curve type. I wanted to point out to you, uh, we have multiple curves in the system, uh, including some very unique uh, X less than, X greater than curves, um, some square curves, some, some positive and negative curves, and some really strange symmetrical, which is a vertical line curves, as well as your constant curves like you would use in a constant throttle application. Uh, if you have any questions on this menu or anything that's not working out for you or how to set up a specific curve for a specific use, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Esprit Tech or Jetty USA. This is James, and we'll see you next time.